Hello everyone and welcome to another What I Think review and this is part two of my mega review for the September 2022, or at least at the time of recording, that is what I know, B&M range of figures. In the first video we looked at the 10th Doctor set, today we are going to look at the 8th Doctor set. Little interruption here from post-recording review Jimmy. It turns out that there's actually been a little bit of a shipping mistake and I am one set short here. I do not have the history of the Daleks number 9 set. However, I have been told that it is on its way. So whilst it's not part of these three reviews, that set will be coming as an advanced review when I get it in future. But before we get on to the review, there's a couple of points I want to address, which I'll be making at the start of each video, probably using this very same footage to save time, because I know this particular set of releases is going to divide opinion, and I don't want to keep responding to the same things in the comments. First point, obviously I've gotten these in advance of them being released and announced, so to make sure that I was in full possession of the facts, uh, I got in touch with Al Jawar to clarify a couple of points before I filmed these reviews. Um, now, there are some obvious changes to the figures and packing, which I will be going into in each review, but in short, the reason for them is one of budget. I'm sure that some people will no doubt complain about some things, but let's be clear here. This is not a case of CO cutting corners or B&M having less faith in the range or anything like that, which people love to complain, uh, to, to claim, sorry, uh, without proof, although they love to complain about it as well. The reason for these cuts, and I say cuts in inverted quotes, is that CO are having to make the budget go as far as it can now to ensure this range continues. The cost of production for many things, including figures, has risen in recent years. And like many other things, it's also been affected by the financial impact of COVID. You know, I know it might seem silly, you think, well, COVID's a virus, things like that. But, you know, let more people had the virus, less people to work, less people to work, delays in production, delays then get caught up, and you know, it's a knock-on effect. It takes time to recover from these things. So it might seem that, you know, COVID was several years ago, because it was, but the effects of it are still being felt, um, you know, today. Uh, you know, and as such, whilst CO might be having to make these changes and cuts, they aren't doing so lightly. You know, they're not, um, you know, they're not deciding to just say, oh, we can cut this, we can cut that. It is a lot of thought is being put into the process of this and you know whilst we might all have our thoughts on this matters I'm going to certainly give my own in the uh, in the course of these reviews there is a this is a legitimate reason you know for, for this these cuts being done whether we like it or not um, secondly at the time of recording the retail prices for these are still unconfirmed um, there were rumours about a price increase, however, again at the time of recording, this hasn't been confirmed as true or not. Um, as such, at the time you will all be seeing this video, the retail prices uh, will be shown in a caption here in the video. Uh, but in the event they are increased, um, because obviously I don't know if they are, it's again worth saying that this can only help increase the budget and will avoid other corners having to be cut in future. You know, I'm sure some people are going to say that they're giving us less but charging us more. But please remember there is a reason for this and we shouldn't quibble over what is most likely only going to be an extra couple of quid in order to keep this range alive. Yes, lots of people are struggling financially at the moment and those extra couple of quid might make a difference. But also, let's be honest, these are toys. They're luxury items. They are not an essential part of the cost of living. You know, if you, if you don't, I'm sorry I'm going to be blunt here. If you don't like the figures, fine but no one is forcing you to buy them, nor does your life depend on having exactly what you want at the price you want it. And I'm sorry, that's not how life works, you know? And, and I am aware as well, it's all well and good for me to be standing here saying this, having gotten these in advance to review for nothing, but as often as I do get those, I still will buy more sets myself for either display or customs. So. I'm still very much in the same boat in that respect. I'm, if I want extra figures, I've still got to go and pay those prices, you know. It, that, that's the way it is. Um, you know, am I happy about some of the cuts being made to these sets? No, I'm, you know, I'm not, and I'm going to, you know, make my own thoughts clear on that. Am I going to act like it's a huge travesty? Absolutely not, because at the end of the day, I, and I'm sure many others, are just happy to have this range continue. It might not be exactly what we want, but at the end of the day, it's better than nothing at all. And, you know, we've had, at times we've had double this amount of figures, you know, 
But I look at this and think like, look, we've got six figures here, we've got two Daleks. I'm happy with that. You know, it's not as much as I would have liked. Yeah, there's no TARDIS, but it's a possibility that the TARDIS may be coming later in the year, along with other Daleks, along with other figures. But for now, I think what we've got here, you know, despite the few criticisms I'm going to have, is going to be fantastic. But now, with all of that out of the way for part two, we are going to crack on and look at the Eighth Doctor set. So here we have our Eighth Doctor set. Um, great to see all three variants of the Eighth Doctor in one place. Um, this definitely is, I think, going to be uh, the the popular, uh, most popular of the two um, of the two uh, triple packs in this. So we have the Eighth Doctor from the TV movie. Um, we have the Eighth Doctor from Dark Eyes with his satchel, finally. Um, and of course then we have the Eighth Doctor from Night of the Doctor, which I know is a very sought after figure for many people, so it's great to see that. And, um, you know, from a, from a customs perspective, there's quite a few customs I've been waiting to do for the Night of the Doctor one, which, um, using the Night of the Doctor figure, uh, sorry, which I've been waiting to do for ages, so it's great to, to finally have that uh, coming out to be able to to get that, so I'm certainly going to be buying several of those up. Obviously, front of the box, very nicely presented. Obviously, no backdrop again. Personal preference, it would have been nice if we'd had the Eighth Doctor's TARDIS in there, but again, from a budget perspective, I can understand why it's not there. If we turn around the box on the back, uh, we have obviously a nice good bit of information. So we have information about the Eighth Doctor, we then have information about his original uh, TV movie costume, uh, then we also have information about the Big Finish costume, and his Time War costume. So, you know, nice amount of comprehensive information on there. Um, you know, there's not really a, a huge amount to say in terms of the information, um, because it is just information. But, you know, as I said before, I think it's great to have it on there, much nicer than just having the, the, the pictures of the figures on the back, because it, it just it just adds that little bit more to the, um, to the uh, set. But let's get into it and have a look at the figures themselves. So here are our three uh, Eighth Doctors out of the box. Obviously, first up, TV movie version. Been released before, but this is a lovely little variant. You know, the trousers have got a bit more of a speckling pattern on them. The uh, waistcoat, um, tie, and the lapels have a bit more of a sort of metallic look to them in that kind of metallic velvet look. Uh, the coat's slightly darker. Um, you know, that's pretty much it for that, but it, it's a lovely variant to see. I know it's one that's always been popular. You know, people have always wanted things from the TV movie, so... You know, to, to get the uh, to get the Doctor, um, you know, even even in this, you know, just a simple repaint, simple variant form, I think is fantastic. It really does look good, really looks the part. Uh, is definitely one that I think is well worth getting, particularly for those who don't already have him in their collection. Um, and I think, you know, he will look very good alongside the original TV movie release and the Children of the Revolution version. Next up, we have the Dark Eyes Eighth Doctor. Um, obviously, this one is a very recent one. Um, you know, there's there's not a huge amount to say about this in terms of variation that I haven't already said in the other ones. But obviously, most notably, he now has his satchel, which is a fantastic uh, additional accessory to see. Again, I know that there are going to be some people that are saying, oh, they gave us the satchel, but why couldn't they give us the Sonic as well? Again, I'm sure the reason was budget. You know, just be happy you've got, you know, that you've got the satchel, um, you know, because... You can't have everything you want in life. I'm sorry if I'm sounding like I'm being overly critical and, you know, I know there's going to be people that are going, yeah, but they should give us this. No, they shouldn't. They don't have to. It, just be happy with what you get. Um, sorry, trying not to go into rant territory there, but you know what I mean, or at least if you agree with me, you know what I mean. You know, it's great to have him there with the satchel because it is part of his iconic look. You know, the, the Sonic isn't as much as part of the look uh, as I think the satchel is, so it, it's great to see that. It was always the thing that I think was missing from the original releases, so to have that in the set is is uh, fantastic and wonderful and I know those satchels are highly sought after for this very reason so to have them both on the market and also as part of the set I know is going to please a lot of people but I certainly think the crowning um, jewel in this is the Knight of the Doctor version. Um, obviously my first thought was it would have been nice if they could have perhaps given us a um, Time Lord Victorious version however I am aware of how sought after the Knight of the Doctor version is, and obviously there has been the original release, there has been the um, slightly bloodied release from uh, the 13 Doctors set, so to have a standard clean release, again, albeit with a slightly different variation, you know, the coat's slightly darker and there's some stylistic changes in other places on the paintwork, I think this is probably what people want more than 
the Time Lord Victoria's version. And again, let's be honest, if you get this, it's not that much work to repaint the coat and give yourself a, a Time Lord Victorious version, you know. Um, I certainly think this is going to be one that, that is going to be the, the, the one that people are going to get this set for the most. And it, it's a lovely figure. It really is a lovely figure. Um, I definitely think it's, um, it's a very iconic look for him. And, um, yeah, as I said at the start, you know, that, that's one of those ones that I'm definitely going to buy it to get a couple more because there's a few custom things I want to do and make uh, using that figure. So, yeah, it's a, it's a really nice one. Again, rather like the Tenth Doctor set, I don't have a whole lot to say about this particular set of releases because they are just standard variant releases we have seen before. But the variation we've got in them is, I think, wonderful, uh, lovely to see. And again, you know, for what we're getting... The, uh, you know, the, the um, for what we're getting in it, you know, the, the small changes, the small additions, you know, the Satchel and the Knight of the Doctor uh, variant are definitely ones which I think are going to help this sell. And that brings to a close part two of this mega review. In part three, we are going to look at the history of the Dalek set. So, as always, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Like, vote, subscribe, share, it really helps me a lot. I'm sure description below for a link to my Patreon. I'm doing my very first figure animation and you can get involved. There's exclusive content and rewards for those who do so and finding my Patreon in any way gets your name at the end of my videos. I salute you all and I will see you with another video very soon.